to view our grade 7 learners group A ready to present to you two folk songs Aluya and Agiriyama. We are going to start with the Luya one entitled Welcome.
My names are Patrick, Andrew, or Dick. Those are my names. What subjects do you teach? I teach a variety of subjects. I teach uh, social studies. I teach uh, um, language subjects, like sometimes some English. But I major mostly on social studies and creative arts, or what we call performing and visual arts at the eighth level. What have you done? The performances that you've been having have been about the uh, music assessment for CBC classes, that is from grade 3 or grade 4 to grade 8. They have been having their presentations in the music or what you call performing arts at grade 7 and grade 8. Uh, so these were projects that were brought to us and they were taken to the schools all over the country where children are supposed to do presentations for the purpose of sending the results back to me. Uh, in quarters or next quarter in Nairobi. How long did it take for the learners to prepare? There were classes that uh, took long to prepare, that classes that took very short while to prepare. Like for instance, the grade 8 performances took uh, somewhat long to prepare because they had to make their fresh compositions. Uh, they were not supposed to, to present you know, creative writings of other people, so they had to compose their own. Uh, so it took it took long, but again for grade four and grade five and uh, grade four and grade five and grade seven, they had to just present uh, cultural songs or you know cultural dances from locally available songs. So that one was simple to prepare. So the duration of preparation depended on what is supposed to be what was supposed to be prepared. But again. Um, if I can't say too much now, I can't say too much that it depends on what wants to be presented. What were the learners reaction when you announced them? Some of them, I mean, you had you could get mixed reaction. There were those ones who are, you know, ecstatic or elated to hear that. There are, there were those ones who are like, okay, oh my goodness, what is this? Especially in grades like the date where they had to make their own compositions. You know, creating something, creating a flowing piece of uh, writing and mastering that piece of writing and performing it is not a simple task. So for them, it was like something overwhelming. But again, with the time and uh, again with the cooperation and the group work, they found it somewhat interesting and they had it uh, very easy. As for, as for grade 4, 5 and uh, grade 7, it was all about dancing. So most of them were very better that they were happy. And you can see the happiness in the presentations they have had. Yes. Okay, did you face any challenges when you came to Yes, obviously, my dear. There will be challenges everywhere. We so have challenges of, uh, you know, moral support. You know, moral support from the people that you expect to get this support from. The support was not coming for, or rather, for the family. Um, you have problems of, uh, like for example, even making this kind of uh, you know uh, production, you need some money here and there, and so you ask uh, parents to make a contribution to do this. Some parents do not cooperate, and again it becomes a big challenge. So there are so many challenges. But again, as someone who is focused and wants to achieve the best in life, you put those challenges aside and you focus on the main goal. What did you think of their performance and what do you want? Thinking about, I mean, what I think about the performances is that the performances were good. They were good. Uh, I don't mean that other dancers did not perform well, but of course there were those who could perform better than others, maybe because of age and uh, articulation and so many other factors put together. But I want to, I want to congratulate mostly uh, the grade seven presentations were really nice. Uh, I also want to thank, I mean to, to appreciate the, you know, grade fives and the grade the eight also did a very nice presentation, especially the, the poems, the verses they composed. In my opinion, in general, the performances were good and this kind of activity should be continued. Okay, the last question. What is your opinion about the CBC system compared to the CBC has come at the right time. CBC is the best 
system that we've had so far, and I think the best that we can have in the world. This is good CBC is supposed to be promoted and should, even though I know it has a lot of challenges, it has a lot of challenges, even for us teachers at school level, it has a lot of challenges. But again, if properly nurtured and properly streamlined and resources are paid, it's the best curriculum ever. What do you think of our interview? Um, I love your interview, I love your journalistic um, uh, skills. You talk to the interviewer like, yeah, you are really a journalist. That is what CBC is all about. And that is what I'm about. Naturally talents like you. You know, when I, when, I, when I thought of this interview and I said I want to, I want to have an interview, I thought of all these children, all these students, this school can give you the best interview and my mind came for you. So it is the, something that I've seen in you and that thing you should be worked upon, you should work on it, read hard, study hard and become the best journalist in this country as a well. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Happy to yourself. We do here in Alex.